Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to episode of Harvey's episode five of Harvey Harvey's Food and Drink. Excuse me, drink. Excuse me. Um, today we are going to be reviewing Croker Party Mix. Um. Uh, so you know it's just like your typical um. Uh, you know, mix. I guess. Um. First impressions looks pretty good. Looks pretty simple. Um, but I'm excited to eat it. Um, so, uh, let's read the, you know, nutrition facts. I'm just going to read it from top to bottom, so it might not make, it, it might not make sense. So, about 23 servings per container. Serving size, one-third cup, 27 grams. Amount per serving, amount, amount per serving, 130 calories. Daily value percent, total fat, 7 grams. Saturated fat, 1 gram grams cholesterol zero milligram uh milligrams sodium 230 milligrams total carbo carbohydrate 15 grams dietary fiber one gram total sugars two grams includes one gram added sugars and three grams of protein uh and then there, there's all these ingredients but i'm not going to read all these but um it just kind of says like uh what's in like what what's in here so we got honey roasted peanuts cheese flavored corn sticks honey roasted sesame st sticks pretzels ranch pretzels and ranch seasons ranch seasoned bread uh bread chips um so this has clearly already been opened but i haven't had any myself so um i'm just gonna get like a big scoop i guess so or I'll try to have everything at once. So I'll grab one of the pretzels thing, one of these. Let's place it in my hand. One of these like mini bread, like bread, garlic bread looking things. Um, one of these. And is that it? No, there's a mozzarella stick, I think. What is that? Uh... Is that it? Wait, uh, honey roasted pretzels. No, that is not it. There's like one last thing I need, I think. Is it this? I think this is it. I think this is the last thing that's in it, hopefully. It's kind of hard to tell. Or is it this actually? I think it's this. We're just gonna have both because I'm not really sure, but it shouldn't make a difference. So I'm just gonna have this and I'll tell you how it is. That wasn't bad, but it tasted generic. So I'm going to try each thing, like, individually. Because it just tastes like I'm just eating normal, like, pretzels. Like, one of these by itself. One of these. So I'm going to taste each thing individually. And then, um, based on that, I'll give a score. So I'm just going to have one of these. Tastes exactly how I expected. I'm kind of excited to try one of these, like the little garlic bread looking things. Um, that kind of also just tasted like the pretzel. Maybe it's because I had stuff like... I had all of that before it, but let me try another one. I didn't, let me try this one. It might have like a little like, I need to try one more. It might have like a little salt flavor to it. It's really hard to tell.
I might be getting like a little salt um, flavor, but it, it it's very little. Um, we're gonna try one of these. I like these. These are good. Um, let me have one more. These are good. I, I would rather just eat these than like all of it combined. Cause this has like, this brings out real like flavor and then all the other stuff, I feel like it just generally tastes like the same. Yeah, those are good. Um, I think this is like a different thing. I don't know. It's smaller and it, it's like cut in half, but. Yeah. Oh, that is a lot of flavor. I would, I, I would honestly get rid of the, the pretzels, the, the, um, like bread things like the, so, okay. Get rid of the pretzels, these, and then just have everything else. Cause so far everything else is what brings up the flavor. Uh, This is just very bland tasting to me. So, um, let me try. Uh, let me try this. Ooh. It's a different flavor, but it's not necessarily a great flavor. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, yeah, let me try one more. Yeah. It's not great. It is like a, it's like a low C, a really, like maybe a D. Like if, if I put just that onto the scale, Low D. Um, I'm gonna have one of these. It's it's like a I think this is the mozzarella stick or whatever. That's good. It it just that yeah that's good. That's like an A or a B maybe maybe an A. It's close. So I think that's everything. Um, I got to say. If I were to, like, if I were Kroger and people were demanding that they make a change in this, which isn't going to happen, but so, I would have this, so that. This. try to find one probably shouldn't just be like digging my hands in this because people are going to eat all of this but too late i guess oh and this just one of these small things these three combined are like a goat combo it's like you really actually taste all three flavors but when you combine all of them it's like you're kind of just like uh you're just getting the the pretzel and like the bread the garlic bread looking thing just overpower it and all you really all you really taste is just that like pretzel kind of like uh like um peanut butter taste which don't get me wrong isn't bad but like no matter what it's whenever you eat anything like this you're just gonna get that peanut butter taste and i think it's time for a change i think it's time that we make it so that you know it actually has real flavor um oops it has real flavor because these aren't great like like, 
I don't know. It's if C is average, then overall this is a C. But if you combine like the the three goats of this, it's an A because it brings in all the flavors. Um, it's not an S because it's not like the best the best thing ever. But it brings in all the flavors. Um, but I think that the that the the pretzels things and the and the garlic breads are just holding it back because they taste the same. And uh, and then there's like there's these things which also aren't great, but they do have a different flavor, which I guess is good. So overall, if it's average, then yes, this is overall this is a C tier. Um, I do like the uh, the the packaging. I guess I think it looks cool uh, unique i think it like if you if, if you just shove this in your pantry it's gonna stand out more than like the average ones i guess but um so this is like a 75 percent. so not bad just average um could be better if they like literally just removed some things i think or changed things up and added things that brought out different flavors um um but overall not terrible not not great not bad so just average so would i recommend this if you just want a normal like if you just want any generic party mix thing then yes i would recommend but if you're wanting to look for like new flavor um no i would not recommend it uh because it's just very bland tasting unless you only have the three things that are actually bring out a different flavor so, this has been a great episode. That's a weird way to end. Okay. Thank you for watching the fifth episode of Harvey's Food and Drank. Um, this is probably actually the last episode. I, I can't. I, I'm running out of space on my phone because I'm recording these like 10 minute long videos. But, um, um, thank you for watching. And goodbye.